everyone, welcome to my channel, today we are creating master movie title animation, using Adobe After Effects with Cinema 4D Lite, so without any wait let's see the preview. This is Adobe After Effects. Create a new composition. I'm going with 1920 by 1080, frame rate 60 fps, duration 7 seconds long, then click on OK. Go to Layer, New, select Max on Cinema 4D file, save your file. It will automatically open Cinema 4D Lite. Set frames to 200. Go to Spline. Click on and hold on it, then select text. Here I'm typing individual letters. Now change the font, download link is provided in the description. Align the text to middle, turn on kerning, and decrease the height of the text. Go to Generator Objects then select Extrude. Now grab your text and place it on Extrude, with down arrow pointing on it. Now we will have 3D text. Select Extrude, set depth amount to 30 cm long. Down double click here to create new mat. Again double click on mat. In color change the color of the mat. Reduce brightness amount to 88%. Go to reflectance. Add Beckman. Then reduce the amount to 85%. Set roughness to 8%, reflection strength to 36, specular strength to 50, bump strength to 75. In layer frame L, select conductor, then choose gold preset. Then go to Bump. Increase the strength to 100%, set Parallax Offset to minus 14, Parallax Samples to 2, now set Sampling to None. Set Blur Offset to 100, Blur Scale to 55, Double click on texture image, reduce exposure to minus 0.5. Make sure bump checkbox is on. Now you will have, shiny gold texture like this. Drag and drop the mat on the text. Now I'm duplicating the text 5 times, click on the control key, then select the text, and drag the text. Change your text. Now select Extrude, and enable Hierarchical checkbox to make all the letters appear in 3D. Now adjust each letter X position as shown.
Go to Light, select Area Light, and adjust the position as shown. Create another Spotlight, and adjust the position as shown. Now select the T letter, go around 50 frames, add a keyframe. Go to first frame and adjust the position and rotation as shown. Then add a keyframe. Now you will have this kind of animation. Similarly select S letter. Go around 54 frames. Add a keyframe. Go to first frame. Then adjust position and rotation as shown. Then add a keyframe. Select the first keyframe and then drag it to 10 frames. Similarly adjust each letter position and rotation. Now create another area light, and adjust the position as shown.
Now select all the text, then select all end keyframes, then drag it to 90 frames. Create a new camera, go around 100 frames then click on auto keyframe, then go to end of your timeline, then decrease field of view as shown. Now you will have zoom in effect. Minimize Cinema 4D light, as you can see nothing has changed in After Effects. For that first save your Cinema 4D file, then open After Effects. Now you will see some grid lines in the background, set renderer to standard final, to view final output. Now extend the layer. Create new solid for the background, right click, new, select solid, I'm naming it as BG, then click on OK, select BG and place it below Cinema 4D, select Cinema 4D layer, and turn on motion blur, select BG, go to effects and presets, search for gradient ramp, Double click on it to apply on the layer. End color to black, change linear ramp to radial ramp, and adjust ramp as shown. Set start color as shown. Go to first frame. Set blend amount to 70%, add a keyframe, go to 1 second and set the blend amount to 50%. Your master movie title animation is ready. Press 0 to ramp review. Thanks for watching this tutorial, subscribe for more videos.